Hey, what's going on everybody? This video we're going to be talking about comparison operators. So right now we're comparing the value of name to some string literal. But sometimes you want to be a little bit more general. Like what if I wanted to say less than 50 or like greater than 50 for numbers? Well, this is possible thanks to comparison operators. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So I'm going to clean some of this up, get rid of that, get rid of this else, get rid of this. And then we're gonna get this from the prompt. All right, before we dive into talking about some actual operators, I did wanna say a special thank you to Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is making this series possible by sponsoring this series. Check out the link in the description to see Dev Mountain. They offer classes in JavaScript based web development. So if you wanna learn general JavaScript as well as React, Node.js, and more, check them out. They got classes in person and online. And if you let them know I sent you, that's $250 off. All right, now let's talk about comparison operators. Boom. Documentation, I know, pathetic. In here, this is a list of all of their operators. So you can go to comparison operators and you can see the whole list is right here. So far, we talked about the strict to equal. We also mentioned just equal. The difference again is that the strict equal also compares type. For both the strict equal and the equal, there is a negated counterpart, which is not equal and strict not equal. The only difference is that whatever this one evaluates is true, this one will evaluate as false. So if you wanna make sure something is not equal to something else, you can use this here. So for example, if I wanted to say, as long as your name is not equal to Claire. So if you're anybody else, you're welcome. Do a refresh, we say Claire, nothing happens. Do a refresh, say Caleb, and we get in. The other ones on here are usually used for numbers. So for example, if we had an input of age, we might say, as long as your age is greater than 12, you're welcome. Do a refresh and say 14, we get access to the app. There is also a greater than equal to, which will allow the value 12. When I put a 12 in here, it still gives us access. The other ones are less than equal. So 12 and lower, put in a four, we get welcome. And then lastly, less than, which will not allow the value 12. One thing I wanted to add is that when you're using these comparison operators, they're not using the strict equal. They're using just the double equals here. To see exactly what I mean, when you do a prompt, it's going to return a string. So age is currently storing a string, but we're comparing it to a number and it's still possible to evaluate to true. If we did something like equals, 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 and then we put in the value 12, that's not going to work. You can see nothing happens. So overall, comparison operators are very simple and you're going to use them a lot. Now, if you wanted to do some kind of comparison, like if your age is under 13 or if it's over 65, then you need something known as logical operators. That is exactly what we're gonna be talking about in the next video. It's gonna be lots of fun, so check it out, guys. Please be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this content, which I'm sure you have, so <laughs> see you then.